Now for today's challenge, each team will be responsible for creating one stunning 4th of July platter, one stunning Cinco de Mayo platter, and one Mardi Gras platter. Each holiday platter should be made up of three delicious dishes. You have 45 minutes, and your time starts now. All right, come on, ladies. Kick it up in the high gear, please. You guys want to beat these guys for once? Just because we lost Hassan doesn't mean shit. We're strong with him, we're strong without him. Yeah? Al, what are you working on? The chicken and rice. All right. Jared's a little much sometimes with his micromanaging. How's your rice? Hey, worry about your dish, man. Stop trying to taste test my stuff. Who's got butter? Fourth of July. It's classic American, it's simple. And it's, you know, to elevate that isn't gonna be difficult. We need to work on the toppings for the hot dog. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm like blanking right now. But unfortunately, I'm partnered with Jackie. You want to just do an apple? Maybe, maybe it'll tie everything together. No, Jackie. Whatever, it's fine. It's not fine. Keep pushing. Push, push, push. Yeah, I'm solid on this jambalaya. All right. I got to keep an eye on everything Kevin's doing throughout the whole challenge while doing the other two dishes. I'm happy to have a partner, but I probably could have just done the three dishes. We got to go now. Last 10 minutes. I gotta work on that muffaletta. I don't know how to do that. Okay, though. well, we need like an olive tapenade and just like mad deli meat, but it's super New Orleans. I wanted to go right for Mardi Gras. This is kind of my scene. I love the vibrancy and the energy. How are we feeling, guys? Nothing? Awesome. Last five minutes. As time winds down, we need to whip up another dish fast. Some chefs find themselves scrambling to make the third dish for their platter. I got a steak on the grill here for us. It's going to sear to a mid rare. I got it. Yes, what are we going to do? You want me to make a, just a quick cheeseburger? Don't make it a quick cheeseburger. Make it a good cheeseburger. Two minutes to go. Jackie, are you, are you confident? Not really. I had to whip up a burger, put it on, and for the short amount of time I had, I was extremely happy with it. Ten. Where's the tacos? No. Bring them to me right now. Eight. Right here, right here. Seven. Come on, guys. Six. Plate this. Five, get it up, get it up, get it up. Four. We're out hot. Three. Excuse me, guys. Two. One, and stop. Welcome, Linda. It's great to see you. Welcome, my darling. Thank you. Look gorgeous. You. Nice to see you. Good to Welcome. be here. The best overall platter from today's winning team will be featured in an upcoming issue. Awesome. I think this is amazing. 18 million people read this magazine. Like, this is really big. Let's start off with 4th of July, red team. Let's go, please. Kristen and Jackie, thank you. Chef Ramsay and guest judge Linda Fears will award a point to each dish they deem worthy, giving each holiday platter a potential score of three points. Wow. I'm like, is that a fucking hot dog with apples on it? The hot dog, a beer poached sausage with a pickled red onion and apple. The apple isn't really working for no. me. Ugh, not worthy of a one. No. Next, please. In the center, there's a cheeseburger with apple slaw. You got apple twice. Yeah, a little bit of theme. Right, let me cut the burger for you. Mm, no, burger's it's raw. a little under Damn, I'm sorry. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna let you eat that, I'm so okay. sorry. Can you imagine a raw burger in a magazine, ladies? Sorry, chef. Dude, like, why would you give him a raw burger? What's wrong with you? Oof. Wow. Next up, ladies. We have grilled corn with a little bit of a garlic uh, jalapeno aioli. That's nice, that's a nice kick. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. It is pretty. Are you fucking kidding me? Finally, we have some yes. flavor. Were they the point? Yes. It's just corn, but you're lucky because it's delicious corn. Take it back, please. One out of three. You grilled some fucking corn. Blue team, 4th of July, let's go. After the red team's shaky start, it's up to Joe and Frank to show Chef Ramsay what a real American platter is all about. Up first, Frank's smoked bacon burger. It's delicious. A burger like that is proud to be American. Worthy of the point. Absolutely. 100%, good job. That's the marine weight, set for five, baby. Next up is Joe's jalapeno bacon mac and cheese. Fantastic. You have elevated a classic American dish. Big yes again, two for two. Uh, amazing. Their final dish, Frank's grilled New York strip. 
doesn't feel quite as celebratory as no. the other two to me. Uh, Worthy of the point? No, I don't no. think so. What a shame. Sink of the mile. Let's go, please. Next up for the red team, Hassan, Manda, and Danny. Chef, what I prepared for you on your right is a uh, my take on a sope. I have a puff pastry baked in the oven with a little bit of refried beans. Mm. Mm. It's nice, good, but we want to watch out for the spice. It's all my favorite things. Is it worthy of a point? I think so. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you, Chef. One to the red. Hassan, welcome to the red team. Red looks good on you. After a strong start from Hassan, Manda's chorizo tacos. It's a little too mushy inside. Disappoint. Sorry, no point. While Danny's New York strip with grilled cactus. I don't think I've ever had grilled cactus. I like it. Delivers. Were they a point? I think so. Brilliant. Well done. Great Thank start. You, two for three. Thank you. Blue team. Sink of the mile. Let's go, please. Let's go. Bring home the bacon. Let's do this. While Eddie's chicken tacos. Uh, really good flavor. Were yes. they a point? Yes. And Jared's mole chili rellenos impress. It really tastes good. I'd give it a one. Yeah, definitely. Now it's Alan's chance to shine with his. Our roast con pollo. In the rice is garlic, onions, peppers. I'm not too sure the authenticity of the Cinco de Mayo. I don't get that true Mexican. No, mm. I don't either. Uh, worth a point, Linda? No. No. Alan folds under pressure. He hasn't succeeded in a competition. Very disappointing. Four to three. Red team, let's go. Bring me your Mardi Gras platter, please. Excited for this. Mm. Ariel, she has never done the Mufalena, neither have I, so I'm getting a little nervous about that, but we'll see what happens. Mm. Very nice. Mm. I have had authentic Mufaladas and, and spot on. It's very good. Um, is that worthy of the point? Yes. Wow, great start. Nice job. Thank Ladies, you so much. nice job. While Ariel's Mufaleta got the party started, Ashley's po' boy sandwich, it's not held together in any real way. I, I sort of feel like it's fried fish over some salad. Is disappointing. Um, Worthy the point? No. No. Wow. Yeah. It's up to Ariel and Ashley's shrimp and polenta to put the red team in the lead. It's good. It's nicely spiced. It says Bourbon Street. It says Mardi Gras. It but does. It, it's cooked beef. Yeah, very good. Worthy the point? Yes. Wow, ladies. Nice. Thank you. Let's go. Rooting. It's down to your last platter, Mardi Gras. Come on, Chad. We got to have at least one point on this platter to at least tie. I'm feeling confident. That is fancy. That is very fancy. Chad's first dish, a sautéed langoustine. Mmm. Almost dry. Almost mm. dry. Yeah. Misses the mark. Whether the point? No. No point! <gasps> His second dish, Cajun chicken. Damn. Oh, pink inside. Chicken is pink. Disappoints as well. If it's not cooked, don't serve it. it. Comes down to Kevin's jambalaya. It's all up to me. I have to get this. Oh, dear. The rice is undercooked. <laughs> is that worthy of the point? Unfortunately not. No. Red team. <laughs> Congratulations. Finally, we won. Good job, ladies. I'm so happy right now that I won this challenge. I think I might be the red team's lucky charm. We are honored to be involved in that magazine. The best overall platter from the red team, which one would you like to choose? Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Buddha. Thank you, whoever. Thank you, Mardi Gras gods. We won this shit. Congratulations, Ashley and Ariel. You're now featured in an upcoming issue of Family Circle magazine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You've been amazing. Thank you for having Thanks. me. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you in New York. Thanks. And congratulations to the magazine. Good job, girls.